In this video, I want to show you how to use the Better Search and Replace plugin. What that plugin does is allows you to make bulk changes site-wide across your WordPress site. So if you want to change a link, a particular bit of text that's used across many pages or posts in your site, Better Search and Replace is the best tool to do that. To demonstrate this, I've set up uh, a test post and in there I've got a bit of text that says Polar Bear and I've got a link that links to grizzlybear.com so we've got two bear related changes we want to make before we actually go to do the change a quick warning or a word of warning rather please back up your database before you make any changes with better search and replace it's a very powerful tool and it will change your database fundamentally and it could crash it if you select the wrong text or the wrong fields so please, please do a backup first. Once you've installed Better Search and Replace, if you go to Tools, there's a new Better Search and Replace option. And this is what it looks like. So we've got a field to search for, what to replace it with, which database tables you want to use. We can set the search to be case insensitive. We can replace GUIDs. Uh, GUIDs are the user IDs or the identification codes that are used to notify or, or record the IDs of post pages, tags, comments, that kind of thing. If you're not up to speed on GUIDs, I would leave that unchecked. And last but not least, there is an option to do a dry run. So you can put your data details in, select your tables, do a dry run. It won't make the changes, it'll just let you know how many updates are going to be made. I'll show you that in a moment. The other thing to look at are the settings for this plugin. Not a huge number of settings. All it allows us to do is increase or decrease the timeout periods on the search. So if you've got a massive database, you might need to put it up here somewhere. If you've got a normal size database, this is probably going to be okay. I'm just going to leave it at the default. Okay, so if you remember from our post, we had the text polar bear. Let's change that to brown bear. Now, which tables do we want to select? If you're going to edit posts and pages, the two tables you're looking for are posts and post meta. Unless you're competent and understand the, the layout of the WordPress database, I suggest you only select those two tables. I'll add that into the notes of the blog post. If you select anything else, so for example, if I selected the user table and there was a user called Polar Bear, that user would be renamed. So use with caution. So we're going to leave it case sensitive and we're going to just run a dry and we're going to create a dry run. So let's run search and replace. Goes off, checks our database looking for incidents of Polar Bear. and it's found one instance of polar bear. Let's uncheck that search and do the actual update. So 